Hello, welcome to Ekidel. We are a future civil and structural engineer. My name is Justice Mwaka. I am your instructor. Today, I will be showing you the part 17 of this structural design. And on this design, this is a 16 building. And we are on the part 17 of this high rise building design. And the software that we are using, we are using the software structure. And we are designing to what? UA code. So UA code is our design code for this 16 story building. So, but if you are new on AKDL, I would advise you you can watch the part 1 up to part 16 of this video because currently we are on the part 17 of this video and we are on the interactive stage design where the structural engineer will have to now interact with the software. So right now, currently, I have already done on the part 16, we did the first interactive we did the first interactive design where we have to interact with the software and check all our columns and all that. And also, we checked few of the beams, which I now instructed you guys to go and check um, for the other beams because I have done more videos on how to check your beams using the software portal structure. So currently, right now, on this pool area here, which is this pool, this pool area here, I left these columns on this pool area so that, so that I can work with you guys and so that you can see how to now um, check your columns. As you can see right now, these columns around the pool here is not sufficient to carry the load of this swimming pool here. So currently, that's why all the columns are around the pool area are failing. So I'll be now, I will now be working with you through on how to now, um, to now check the columns and see why it is failing. If the size of the column is not sufficient or not, then we can now check on that. So right now, to now check on that, I'll just click on the column here, which is failing on this floor, which is, which is the system floor, where the pool is. And then right click on the column, I'll be working directly on this 3D view here. So I'll now click on that and then come here and then click on what section design here. Now on this place now, I'll then go over again and uh, once it shows the dialog box for that, I'll then go over and then click on the try to check why it is failing. Now, if you are new on Ekidel, you can check on the link down below and download the CAD file and then follow us up on this design project. So right now, we will now move on to the next year to now check why it is failing. And by doing that, time, I'll, the, the, the first thing I'll do right now is to come here and click on the thing that says interactive design. So I'll click on this right now and check why there is a failure on that. Okay. So, so you can see the warning here that says that steel bars cannot be, be what selected because the section size of the column is what insufficient. So right now we have known the, the issue why the column is failing. Okay. So right now I'll just say okay and then come here and increase the size of my column. So I would like to use um, 400 by 400 column size that will be able to carry the pool. And then I'll come here and click on what updates. And I'll come here and click on what reset bars. Okay. And I'll come here and then come and then click on what interactive design here. And I'll, now you, 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 you cannot see that the, the bars that, that is, that is now required to carry the, the, the pool is what? 12 diameter 25, which is for the column. So I'll come here right now and then say, okay. And then come here and then say final okay here. And with that now, you can see that this column right now will, will, will now be what? Okay. So right now you can see that it is okay. If I now click outside here right now, you will see that the columns is now okay. As you can see right now, this column now is now okay because we have increased the column section. So I will go then again and repeat the same thing for the other one here. Let me, let me just click here again. There's filling. Right click now and then click on what? Um, something here. Now, if you don't know what, um, they call, um, um, let me say a story building or story building or store building that has a swimming pool at the top. You can really check out this right now here. So right now on this, I'll just come again right now and then increase the pool again here by 400 by 400 again. Update and then come here in that design here and I'll wait for it to design. Okay, that's fine. So with this now then say okay and then find out okay here and the column now will now be okay because we have just increased the section that was what that was what was causing to fail so with this way if i click outside there right now you can see that this column now is now perfectly okay so again now i'll move again to, to the next one here let me check this other one here check this right now and check this here and now click on here now if you're new on ekidel i would advise you subscribe to our channel ekidel because here on ekidel ekidel is the number one platform we are we are civil as we are civil engineers and also social engineers have been trained around the world okay so i'll come here right now and click on what okay and then interactive design and then click on okay here and then okay here that's fine okay so again i want to move again right now to now check this again click on this here right click here and then this and then come again right now and then come again here check why it's failing basically 
it should be from the section of the column okay no here they see that c bars what is exceeded okay that's um c ratio so right now i'll just quickly come here and do what reset bars then again and see why it's failing again okay the same issue so i'll come here right now and then increase this to um 650 650 update reset c bars and then come here again and let's see the same issue again okay and i'll come here reduce this back to 600 and increase the width of the column to 350 and then okay update here and then say design here the same thing again the t ratio limit is what exceeded okay that means that the um the section of the steel is too much okay so i'll come here right now and then say what okay here and i'll come here reduce this to what um 400 by um 300 let me see okay updates and then come here design okay now they think that the, the, that the that the section is what insufficient so i'll come here again and say so okay here and i'll come here and make this to be what of 400 and i'll come here and then okay and then design here the same thing again okay so i'll come again right now and then change this to what 600 by 400 and then say what update here and then come here and then say what design and then so you can see that this is now what sufficient because we have not seen what our bar size which says 16 um 16 number of what y25 so right now this now okay now come here and then say what's okay here and then say final okay here okay that's fine so we will now move on again to, to, to the next column again that is failing because this 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 one, this one this one here is already okay so i will now go again right now and locate the next column which is failing at this corner here and click on this just now the column itself right click here and then do what click on what design here and then come again right now and then come here let me just do 400 by 400 updates design sorry reset bar first before you design and then that's fine okay and then okay here okay so right now you cannot see that we have now um checked for all the columns that are failing as you can see that so basically right now you cannot see that let me just check this out okay that's fine so you you you, you, you cannot see that we have checked for all the members of this co of, of this system so even here as you can see we have checked for all the members and none of them is failing okay so before once you're done with your structural design using this software or using any design software at all you must have to check the software that is the duty of a structural engineer you must not depend on what the software gave you because these things are programmed software they are terms to they are they are either they are they, they, almost all the softwares are programmed to perform what they call over design because they they what they are interested in is to ensure the the safety of the structure so most softwares perform over design so that that is why they always give allowance for what they call interactive design where you as a structural engineer will now have to come and interact with the software and others to now um, use your own experience to now arrange your reinforcements choose your session wisely and all that so i would advise that for upcoming engineers learn how to interact with, with your softwares although for you to interact with, with, with your software very very well you must have known a manual design knowledge and all that and the principles if, if you don't know the principles that are involved in manual design you might not be able to um, interact with the software very well that is why to just help that on that and since our mission here on ekidel is to um is to build up and also train the future engineers we have a program called ekidel mentorship program or mentorship class or training specifically on what on design of structures and also detailing so if you are interested to improve yourself on on what design of structure you can enroll on our ekidel mentorship class or training on what on design and also if you want also want to if you want to also improve yourself on detailing you can enroll yourself on what they call ekidel mentorship what training in the in the area of what detailing so these two they are different they are, they are not the same and they are not expensive they ranges from 380 dollars to 400 to, to what 480 dollars and you can make part payments up to three times so you have um, the chance to make three times on um, payment installment and all that before the end of the training if you want to enroll for that you can check on the link down below and enroll for that it is not like a video that is being recorded it is like a live stream tra training where we use either google meets um, microsoft teams or zoom to train you on that so 
it is like a live screen um, training where you have to see us real time and all that. So if you want to um, um, get that, you can check the link down below and change your life on that, okay? So thank you so much and God bless. Now we are about entering into the part 18. Now the part 18, as we promised, that this system story building will, will be the first high rise building that we are going to design and complete. That is why we attach the cat file down below. Although the cat file is not free, so you have to get it and purchase it and then follow up the this design procedure from what we have done from the part one up to the part what 17. So currently now we are done with the super structure design. We are now entering into the sub structure design, which we are going to use a Pi foundation for that. So we have not really done any design video on Pi Foundation. So on this video, this, this video will be the first um, project or building that we are going to use to design for a Pi Foundation. So I would advise you follow up the substructure very, very well, because from next week, we will start uploading the, the video for the substructure, which is a Pi Foundation. And knowing that Pi Foundation has three stages. The first stage is to design for the Pi Cap. The second stage is to design for the pie itself and the third stage is to design for the great beam and then you cannot enter into detailing so we will be working with it stage by stage now on the part 18 will be on the pie cap design although we will have to explain much about the pie caps so that you'll be able to get the um the full knowledge about pie cap design then we will also try to relate it also to manual knowledge and then tell you the principle that you are meant to um, check out for when you are designing for your pie um, for your pie foundation, basically for pie cap first, and then from there we will now walk you through into how to apply the knowledge which you know in this software. Because this software, um, most software basically, if you, if you don't know how to impute the values very well, then you will get it wrong. So we will guide you on how to design pie cap following with this software portal structure. And then when it comes to the pie design, pie design is being done using portal portal what detail. Pie cap is being done using portal structure, while pie design is being done using portal detail. So we will also walk you through on how, on how we are going to transfer the load onto the pie. And that, and all that, and then we will now come and then design for the, um, for the, um, for the pie connecting beams and all that. Although before we design for the pie cap, I will give you a pie, uh, a pie soil report because we cannot design pie without using a soil report for that so basically the sub grade uh, or, or the sub um structural design will take longer time because except you don't want me to explain much now for for those of you following this video i would like you to comment down below if you have any issues along your own design because i know that over 200 persons are following this video uh, uh, sorry are following this 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 this, um, this design currently we have currently we are currently um up to 4,000 subscribers and currently 200 persons are following this video now you can also join the whatsapp group down below so that you can be able to interact with other engineers globally around the world and all that and share also what you know and also if you have questions about your design you can also go the question and they can be able to, to assist you okay so thank you so much and god bless you see you again on the part 18 of this video which is now the um the substructure design okay which is the um, foundation design so bye for now and then see you again next time tomorrow